guys. What a life this is. So a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, and I'll name them, have been asking me about student loans, have been asking me about financial aid, and here's your answer. I can really only speak for my own journey, and so I want to be very transparent about my own financial situation when it comes to college. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, then you guys probably know that I just graduated from college in December, and I'm now faced with student loan repayment time. You guys probably know from looking at my channel, I've definitely worked my ass off to pay my way through rent in college, to pay for my bills in college, but obviously I still had to take out quite a few student loans, and I don't think I realized that I was taking out as much as I was. Not that I didn't know, you know, how much I was kind of gonna owe, I just, now that I'm doing the calculations and looking at the actual number in front of me, it's just, it's just a lot, guys. In this video, I'm gonna, gonna break down my student loan debt, how I'm in so much debt, um, I'm gonna break down my plan for when it comes to repaying off my student loans. And mainly in this video, I wanna talk about whether or not I think taking out student loans is worth it because obviously $50,000 is a lot of money and it sounds pretty scary. But honestly, I have some I have some opinions on student loan debt now that I'm here at this place where I need to pay it off. I graduated college, started this really amazing job with Amazon, which has been awesome. So I'm making really good money, which is great. And you know, like I said, I'm very blessed to be in the financial position that I'm in. And I know it's very taboo to talk about money, but I wanna be very real on my channel, especially when it comes to student loans, because I think it's important that people talk about them. So for me being in this position, I've been really, really excited. And you know, I was planning what I'm gonna buy. I'm trying to furnish my apartment and all these things. But then I start looking at my student loan debt this past month. And then you are hit with the reality of how much you owe in debt and shit becomes very real. And shit has just become very real for me. So I owe about $50,000 and that's mainly through my tuition bills and, and I did study abroad when I was in college um, for a summer and that was pretty expensive. I took out student loans through FAFSA but I also took out private loans because I just did and that was definitely not the best idea. I definitely recommend taking out as much through FAFSA as you can and try to stay as much away from private student loan lenders as possible. And I'll explain why later in this video. But that being said, log into FAFSA, first, first little window that pops up. Hey Lynette, this is how much money you owe. <laughs> and you know, that's just half of my student loans because like I said, I did take out you know, money from a private lender. So through the private lender, I used LendKey to take out my student loans. Through LendKey, I took out about $21,000. I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys, this sucks. Like, it sucks knowing that you owe so much money that you, even though you're making money, you have a literal negative net worth. And every time I spend money, I'm kind of just like stressed out about it. And I've always, you guys probably don't know this, I've never actually talked about this on my channel, um, but I've always been very, very, very anxious about money. Like money causes me actual, genuine, physical, mental, emotional stress to the point where I just, I get so worked up about it that I, I, I can't even go out to eat sometimes without getting like stressed about it. That being said, I'm trying to handle it. I started actually watching a lot of Asia Dang. If you guys have ever heard of her, she's an amazing YouTuber. Um, she has a whole series on her channel about her student loan um, repayment journey, and she was able to pay off about $150,000 in student loans in like two years, which is insane. Um, and she's been a huge like source of inspiration for me as far as this whole journey goes, because I'm definitely, I mean, obviously I'm at the very beginning of it, but you know, after watching a lot of her videos, I kind of started to realize like, I can do this shit. Like $50,000 is a lot, but it, honestly, compared to a lot of other people's student loan debt, it's not that bad. And I'm at a position where I am 21, I just graduated, I'm already starting to make moves to make sure that I can make these payments ASAP because if you don't already know, you know, the sooner you pay this stuff off, the quicker it goes away. One of the things that I'm doing as far as planning this pay whole student loan payoff is I'm creating a budget for myself. So every month I'm budgeting, I'm making sure that I'm sticking by my budget. I am going to be acting broke this year. I'm also working right now to consolidate my loans. So I just got off the phone with, um, no, I just got off the phone with Len Key to talk about refinancing. So I'm, re I'm consolidating my loans and then I'm refinancing my loans. So I just got off the phone with Len Key to 
figure out my refinancing plan. If you guys don't know what consolidating and refinancing is, then I can explain it in a different video. I'm not gonna get too much into it today. That being said, I have a plan. I'm doing this thing. I'm gonna start paying off my student loans starting next month. And so I'm going to try my best to hold myself accountable you know, one, by making this video, two, by actually doing the steps. So my goal is to pay them off in about two years. And I'm feeling actually pretty positive about it. I feel like I can do this. If you guys are watching this video, I don't want you guys to feel like, you know, stay away from student loans. I'm not a big believer in just staying away from student loans because I do think that for some people it's worth it. For me, taking out this much in student loans, it sucks. I'm kind of mad at myself right now, but at the end of the day, it was worth it because I mean, I'm in a really good position because I went to the school that I went to and I wouldn't have been able to go to that school if it wasn't for student loans. So, and I will say, you know, even for studying abroad, I think studying abroad is one of those things that if I had not done that, I would truly not be the person that I am today. So I truly, I truly, truly, truly do not think that, you know, student loans are something to run away from and be scared of. So I wanted to make this video so you guys can see that there's a positive light at the end of the tunnel if you guys are considering taking out student loans because you know at the end of the day like if you want to go to your dream college go to your dream college and make it work um i have a whole video on my channel about like whether or not student loans are worth it so make sure to go watch that one if you guys are kind of in that position where you're trying to figure out if you want to take them out or not don't just take one person's advice you need to really 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 Think about your specific situation so go watch my video go do some more research go figure out your situation and you know assess from there <sighs> i don't know why i'm so out of breath right now it's just an exhausting topic i'm ready just to do it wish me the best of luck when it comes to paying these things off pray for me let's do this shit. please comment in the comments down below if you guys want what what other videos you guys want to see from me i honestly am getting kind of tired of making college advice videos because there's only so many i can make but, you know, I'm out of college now, I've graduated, I'm working full time. You know, what, what videos can I make for you guys that actually have to do with my life? If there's anything that I can, if you guys like these videos, if you guys want to see more about my student loan journey, if you guys want to see more about financing and budgeting, or if you guys want to see more vlogs, things like that, let me know because I want you guys to stick around. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.